Okay, so we're getting close to the end of the day here, and um, I stand before our anchor leg uh, presentation. So uh, just wanted to take a, a few minutes, and it's, it's my real distinct pleasure to talk to you today about the uh, NanoAssembler scale-up system, um, which is the, the platform that we've developed uh, to utilize our technology in the GMP environment for both clinical and commercial uh, manufacturing. And you know, what you see up here is um, a, a small representation of uh, years of work by the Precision team to take this idea of seamless scalability and bring it to you know, what will be the, the eventual use of these nanomedicines in, um, in humans. So I think you've heard a, a couple of times today about you know, seamless scalability and uh, the use of these microfluidic devices across the entire precision nat, uh, platform. And that is really how we're uh, affecting uh, not just the, the clinical manufacturing, but the development of these, of these nanomedicines. You know, in, in this particular um, iteration of, of our platform, we use the identical microfluidic reactors that are used in both the benchtop uh, and in the Blaze system um, in a uh, 8x uh, paralyzed scheme to be able to manufacture up to 25 liters of uh, nanoparticle formulations, again, for use in, in either clinic and, and uh, the higher volumes potentially down the road for uh, commercial manufacturing. And uh, we're, we're very excited about you know, where this potential, uh, where the potential of this program from can lead to, to be able to move these nanomedicines uh, forward for patients. Mm -hmm. Um, so, so how do we, you know, how do we do that sort of in a little more detail? Well, um, we use a, a fully disposable fluid path, and we've customized the pumps uh, to be able to afford access to the whole fluid path. So, what you're seeing here are uh, basically HPLC piston type pumps um, that use a, um, uh, again, fully disposable uh, tubing and, and plumbing system, um, such that they're single use, uh, which, as you know, is a is a, is a trend that uh, is. Pretty, um, pretty important in the, in the uh, biotech and pharma arena today. Um, we have installed, as, as Norbert said, um, we worked very closely and effectively with his team and have affected the transfer of the system into uh, their facility, uh, their GMP facility in, in Burnaby. So uh, there are neighbors in, in Vancouver, and that system is available today for customers to use for, for manufacturing. Um, it's also available um, for transfer into your, your specific facility, or if you have a, a CMO of preference, um, you know, we can affect tech transfer in a, in a very short period of time. So we recently completed a, a project uh, that uh, was, was a pretty big undertaking for us from, for both the scope and, um, quite frankly, expense perspective, and excited to share some of that data here with you today. Um, we, again, thinking about seamless scale-up, we wanted to, to prove that with particles that had an active ingredient in it and in a four-component system to represent, you know, things that, that uh, systems that you're challenged with um, out here today. So what you're seeing here is batches that were manufactured um, using, uh, uh, sorry, to make SI uh, lipid nanoparticles containing factor seven siRNA at the bench top, the blaze, and the 8x scale-up system. Um, so what you're seeing here is, is, as we've been talking about all day, very seamless scalability um, across all three platforms affecting uh, very similar size and, and PDI with uh, very good encapsulation efficiency. We then took that material and, and put it in uh, CD1 mice uh, to look at knockdown. And again, um, not surprisingly, at least to us, uh, we saw a very, uh, very consistent knockdown, again, across very, three different batches made on three different iterations of the platform, but utilizing the same manufacturing architecture um, in the microfluidic devices. 